This is a Fiat 500e fully electric. So I've tested this car, well, similar car in Denmark, but that was only a quick test. So now I'm gonna do uh, a more like, um, yeah, longer test. Um, so uh, what should I say about this car? Um, well, it's tiny, it's freaking tiny and it's electric. And well, it's based on a Fiat 500 and I just muted it into an EV. Um, so, I mean, even for me, who is just a small Asian, the car looks freaking tiny. Can you imagine if I put like uh, a, a big man here, like uh, Jörgen or something, he could barely fit in this car. So it's freaking tiny, but I guess it has its use because uh, in the city you want to you know, nimble around. Well, did I say nimble? But yeah, you want to nimble around and you want to park on tight spots and that's what this car is for. But let me show you how it looks like here. Um, well, I can start with the, with the trunk, maybe. So, let's see. Well, here you see. Well, it's Marcus Biel, they, they uh, insisted on letting me try this car. I'm like, um, okay, well, so we have some... Well, it's not, it doesn't have fake exhaust at least. Um, okay, so here's the key. Okay, you can like, so you have to push it, put this in. Uh, and then you have to use this one to open the trunk. And the trunk is freaking tiny. Look, I can barely fit some of my equipment here, plus some of the charging equipment. And what the heck is this? What, what, what's the point of this thing? <laughs> okay, it's just the... Uh, uh, it's a, the, the smallest partial shelf I've ever seen. It's, it's like a fist long. That's it. Um, and then, okay, here we have some of the stuff. Well, this is my shit, okay. Um, we have some cables here. And then under here we have a small room. Uh, that's a tire repair kit. And this is that's pretty much it. This is like, okay, very tiny trunk. Unfortunately, so let me put my shit back in there. Okay, see. Uh, this is my tripod. It can it can barely fit there, so don't expect any like crazy trunk space there for large suitcases or you know long ass um, vacations. No, it ain't gonna happen. You want to use this for uh, for city driving. Yeah, your groceries go in here. Uh, stroller. Uh, I'm not sure, but okay. And uh, let me see, let me close this one. So, of course, he has a, a manual lid. Uh, there, okay. And then, but look here. The interior is like freaking. Let me see. Is anyone here? Okay, okay, no, no not too many people around here. So, I, I've chosen like a uh, quiet place, but this interior is freaking porn, man. I mean, Look at it, it's white. It's white everywhere. There's freaking crazy Italians. They've gone crazy with interior. So let, let's go inside. So, wow, look at that. Okay. Uh, well, I have to put in the key. It says 95% stale charge. Uh, so you have to use this one, put it in here. Uh, so it's like, it's still kind of fossil. There's, it's not keyless. Yeah, and then it fires up. And then it bugs me that seatbelt is not uh, all possible ice on the road. Oh, are you, are you kidding me? Okay, so everything is just white and this car is like the opposite of Tesla. So you have buttons for freaking everything. Okay, uh, traction control, uh, defrost, oh, that's the rear defroster. We have this, fan speed, temperature, uh, AC, um, seat heaters, uh, fog lights, you know. Uh, here we have, this is weird, really weird placement. This is the, the, wi <laughs> the window, what the heck? Okay, uh, gear, well there's no gear lever, it's just this thing. Uh, yeah, so, and there's no way to, uh, there's no like regen mode. Well, I'm gonna show you later. And then we have, at least we have 12 volt outlet here, and some, eh, and some cup holders. I think you can put your phone there. That's the, that's the thing for that one. I, mean, I don't know what it, this is for, probably for bottles, but yeah, you see, you can put your phone there. So this is like really urban car. Yeah, and the interior, like I said, you know, it's just freaking crazy, man. 
never seen this before. Like combination of chrome and white plastic. Well, it's not. It's not like hundred percent white. It's like it's the cream white. Yeah. Uh, it's it's just pretty much hard plastic. Oh, this is leather. This is probably from a cow or something. Yeah. Uh, an orange cow. But um, so the interior is, I would say, special. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but oh, what the heck? What, what, what is this button? What? I can, I could push it freaking deep. Uh, okay, I, I haven't figured out everything with this car. Yeah. Uh, so you have like, uh, you have to set the motor power, trip A, and it's weird because it measures in kilometers per kilowatt hours. Uh, yeah, okay, tire pressure, that's good. Ready, oh, it was born ready. Okay, and then what it, the gum estimates 102 kilometers of range. I want to test the range here. Yeah, <laughs> all right, but you know what? Let's take it for a spin. Uh, wait a minute, I forgot to show you something really important, which is the back seat. So look here, okay, it's just a two seater. I mean, it's just a two door. Uh, I, I believe it's registered for four only. Yeah, it looks like it, but the, the seat is really tiny. How do I do this? There, there. Okay, you see, you can you can barely fit. I mean, I can barely fit in there. Holy crap, man! I mean, seriously, like I'm trying to trying to squeeze in here, and and also at the same time, not. Uh, I have to be serious. I, I wanna. I don't want to pull in a lot of snow here. So uh, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. I think the only way to do this is to to squeeze my fat butt in here like this, and then there, and then oh, get in there! Oh, shit! Oh, oh man, it's freaking tight in here. And not only that, but let me show you something. Um, my legs are like this, okay? Um, because this is probably the the lowest seat seating position ever like seriously let me, let me show you here okay if I do it like this sorry for the shake and all that but look look here the, the seat is so freaking low it's like I don't know 20 centimeters <laughs> so I have to say the back seat is is a freaking is a disaster uh, sorry for that Marcus Bill um, it's just freaking tiny don't expect anyone to sit in the back here like I, I, even a small Asian like me has trouble m making it comfortable here. So can I adjust this uh, headrest? I think I can. It's uh, is how the heck do you adjust this headrest? This car is not too user friendly. Uh, let me, uh, okay, I was not able to uh, adjust the headrest on this side, but at least on this side I was able to raise it. So let's try to sit. In the, oh, 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 oh shit! Uh, uh, I'm like, uh, uh, I'm comfortable here. Yes, yeah, this is. <laughs> so I would say it's a two-seater. Yeah, with optional two extra seats for people without legs. Uh, or like, uh, am I allowed to say midget? Uh, I would say really short people. Yeah. Uh, okay, let, let's get out and let's let's take this for a spin because that's. I think that's the whole point with this car because it's a driver's car. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to fix this one. No, it's not too okay. There, there is it. Uh, I don't know if I did it wrong or right or something, but okay. Yeah, <laughs> let's go then. All right, let's roll. Okay. Uh, I guess that's it. Possible lights on car. Not on the road. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's good that you let me know that. We are in drive. So there's like a well there's like a tiny armrest here, but well, you can't see that in the picture, but that's fine. Okay, let's 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 go. So as expected, it is very quiet, like every EV is. Um, and then well they have this well I like that, you know we have speedometer uh, digitally 
in the center. Yeah, I like that. I'm I'm so used to it now. It's really easy to read. Uh, trying to read like you know a needle that is so 1985. Yeah, uh, and also I like that it displays a state of charge in percentage. Yeah, some cars like the Eagle doesn't do that. What the heck? So oh, 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 it's a little bit bumpy here. Let me try to adjust. Okay, a little bit bumpy here because it's winter. Uh, we have snow and ice and shit. Uh, I love all about region. Okay, well, something is rattling over there. So the interior is rattling. So you see, I'm gonna, mm, region. Yeah, you see, and if I press the brakes, it will region even more. So it, it has that, you know, that B setting that many. Uh, other EVs have. This one uses it by default. So it means that uh, normally if you let off the pedal, it will regen like low. And then when you push the brakes, it will regen more. But before, but without using the friction brakes. And then eventually it will use the friction brakes. So, well, it's, it's always a nice thing here. Okay, let's hammer it. Ooh, ooh, it's, ooh it's quick. <laughs> oh, it's freaking quick because you know what? This car is very light. Uh, <laughs> if I remember correctly, it's even lighter than a, a BMW uh, i3. Yeah. So uh, let's see what is the speed limit here. There is no, uh, there is no camera reading the speed limits, unfortunately. So we're just gonna cruise along here. Yeah. Uh, let's see if I try to hammer it. Okay, let's try. Ooh, it's ooh, it's fairly quick too. Ooh, ooh I kind of like that. It's somewhat instant acceleration. Okay, let's let's now we are regening. Okay, if I push the brakes, yeah, then regen the more. Okay, so that's how you you enable the high, like that, the the higher regen. And uh, well, as usual, like most other EVs, it's pretty easy to drive. You just put it in drive and then you drive off. That's it. No gear changes. Uh, no like automatic. Uh, gear leaping up and down that's always nice also the quietness uh, let me take down this uh, uh, armrest here but you know the problem with this car is that it doesn't have dc fast charging support it only has type well it's also kind of it's, it's type one ac it can only support ac slow charging i wouldn't even call it semi-fast charging so it has an onboard 7.4 kilowatt charger. That's it, 32 amp. The, the battery is a 24 kilowatt hour. So it takes about four hours to fill it up. But four hours, ugh. so basically because of this, the small size of this car, it means that it's just a city car. You cannot take it on long trips. I mean, you can drive, probably drive like 80 to 100 kilometers. Then you have to wait four hours for the next, you know, 80 to 100 kilometers. So, that's not gonna happen. It, you cannot use this car for long trips. <laughs> so um, we have to, you know, we have to kind of set, uh, like, set the tone here with this car that this is a city car. It's not a, it's not a long uh, trip car. Uh, and based on that, we can try to find a use for it because already now, yes, many people will not want it. Uh, personally, I don't want it because. I drive a lot, but I've, of course, if you just want a small city car for for local runs, you know, to the grocery store to deliver your one and only baby, because you can probably fit only one baby in here, maybe two or three, I'm not sure. But uh, when the baby goes up, then they have to walk or take the bicycle. Yeah. But you know what? Let's forget about that shit. Yeah. This is this is an urban car for people who who are single or who don't have kids or or you know who don't drive that far they just want to get around the city yeah um, so let's test I have to find the yeah I know a, a place where I can I can test the driving dynamics of this car <laughs> okay let's try to hammer it more uphill well okay it, it has you know that artificial lag turbo lag that most other EVs have so uh, yeah, yeah, it does. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, let's see then. Oh, okay. So we are now on uh, the motorway, and I found out some settings here. So you can have this trip meter on, 
shows you various info, uh, distance, uh, energy consumed, whatever. Ah, it's not interesting. Okay, let's see. That's trippy. Well, it's not too much stuff to show, but I kind of like this one. Oh, that's what the heck? It shows you a white car, but the car is orange. <laughs> okay, let's just hammer it a bit. Oh, there's a little slightly barely legal. Okay, let's slow down here. Okay. Okay, power, motor power. Okay, so now let's let's test the regen. Okay, so you're gonna hammer it and then regen. Okay, eight kilowatt regen. Nine, that's it. And if I press the brakes, ooh, that's a little bit disappointing because I thought it was more. Let's see. Let's let's hammer it. Okay, and then eight kilowatt. Let's press the brakes slightly. There, there, oh yes, there we go, there we go, okay, okay, I just didn't see it, okay, so that's um, some 20 kilowatt regen, well, this is a small car, you know, so you would, ex don't expect like 60 kilowatt regen like Tesla, but still, 20 kilowatt regen, well, that's pretty good, yeah, so then we have, we have tested that uh, the, the brakes will add more regen, okay, let's try again, 8 kilowatt, and then 20, yeah, 20-ish, 20 yeah, that's, that's pretty cool, okay, that's pretty cool, <laughs> yeah, let's see, hmm, Okay, you know what? Let's let's try a little acceleration here. Yeah, let's um, now um, EVs they are allowed to drive on the bus lane. <laughs> so he hasn't gonna use the bus lane. Uh, let's do semi-slow accelerate. Let me do some slow-ish here. Okay, slow down a bit. What well, we have uphill, uphill disadvantage. Okay, let's hammer it. Ooh, ooh. Oh yes, oh yes, ah, ah power! <laughs> so, well, it does it um, okay, acceleration-wise, but it's a, it's a small, nimble car. So I want to take it on a, a winding road to see how it can handle it. Yes. Hmm, okay, so um, that uh, energy reading here is kind of weird because um, it shows you kilometers per kilowatt hour so you have to take uh, you have to take like one kilowatt hour divided by 4.3 kilometers to get watt hour per kilometer so that's about 200 and maybe like right quick quick math here about 230 watt hour per kilometer which is freaking high but I've been doing some crazy accelerations and shit here so uh, yeah I should do an eco run yeah let's do that also later we'll do an eco run to find out how far we can drive and how much energy is available yeah but you know what i have to say we are cruising at the motorway now uh and it's fairly quiet yeah we probably yeah we have stud less tires but well, that helps but uh they have done a good job of uh you know insulating with the wind and stuff well how do you oh okay it's the button is over here yeah so it's it's fairly a lot of noise outside, but it just shut it off. Yeah, most of the noise. So that's pretty good, yeah. I kind of wish I had this insulation in my car. Hmm. Wow. So that's not too bad, you know, for such a small car uh, and fairly inexpensive. It's on the same price range as, uh, uh, well, this one is second hand. So you, it's, it's similar to uh, Nissan Leaf. Okay, so this is the winding part. Uh, yeah, let's see. It's, but I think we have some other cars. Uh, so I, hopefully we can get a good run. But you know what? <coughs> I saw that the region goes higher now because uh, I think we were too high. We're, we had too high state of charge to get the optimal uh, region. So let's see if I try to region now. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, well, I need more speed, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's kind of slippery here, so I have to be careful. Okay, how much region do I get? Uh, oh, it's slippery. <laughs> okay, maybe not the best place to test the car, or is it? Okay, let's... All right, all right, all right. Let's, let's roll. Let's roll. Let, let's try not to crash this car. <laughs> what is great fun? <laughs> I just say it's. Ooh, ooh 
Okay, Ooh, and then <laughs> it's front wheel drive though. So, um, oh, they are ESC going on there. <laughs> yeah, okay, this this corner is uh, pretty sharp, so let's let's regen a lot. Okay, well, the, the speed was a little bit too low, so um, okay, can we go sideways? Kind of sideways, let's hammer it. <laughs> well, it's, it's fell. I mean, it's pretty quick, I have to say. Yeah, it's a nimble car, as expected, because it's so light. So yes, you want to run, drive fast in the forest, then you can use this car. You want to drive around in the city, yeah, that is also fine. Let's try some regen, by the way. Let's just hammer it, then see how much regen we get. Oh, 33 kilowatt. Oh, let's try again. Okay, okay. Uh, I realize I'm spending the battery freaking fast now, so uh, that might not be optimal. 25. Ooh, I think we use some friction brakes there too. Yeah. Okay, well, okay. I had that beamer in front of me, so I wanted to uh, slow down, uh, but I'm catching up with the beamer. So, should I hammer it? Yeah. Wow. The Mimer is probably driving at sensible speed, unlike me. I'm driving way too fast. Oh, going sideways. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, uh, right now we have some ice. Yeah, this is, um, uh, they put some gravel on it, uh, but we have some ice surface here. So, um, studded tires would grip better right now. Uh, this is studless, but still okay-ish. Uh, let's, um, Let's do a flip mode, go back again. Uh, it's not too long stretch here. Uh, preferably, I would like to try this on, on like, you know, dry tarmac. Uh, well, this is uh, it's salted road here, okay. Let's hammer it, ooh. Uh, ooh, 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 Yeah, okay. How is the consumption doing, by the way? Oh, five kilometers per kilowatt hours. Hmm. How much is that? That is about, uh, no, that is actually exactly 200 watt per kilometer. Yeah. <laughs> two plus two is four, minus one is three. Quick math. All right. But, oh, you can do U turn. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, yeah. <laughs> so it has really short, I mean, small turning, turning circle. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a very nimble city car. Uh, my Tesla would have problems turning around there. Okay, hopefully we don't have any cars in front of us this time. Now that it could be a car coming here. Careful. Achtung! Okay, so it's still 50-ish. I want to see the power, but that was cool. Uh, this one, this one is cool. Oh yeah, I like it. Okay, it's 80 now. But, ooh, we have to be careful. Ooh, slippery, slippery, slippery. I have to know the limits of this car still. Okay. Oh, but, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I like this. I guess, oh, 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 you know, you can almost, you can almost drift with this car. Ooh. Can I drift with it? Let's try, let's try to. Oh. <laughs> okay, I have to turn off ESC. Wait, can I do it on? ESC off, okay. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> now we are cooking. Oh, yes. You have to switch off traction control. Then you're gonna have some fun. All right, let's see. Oh, let's, oncoming car. Uh, let's, let's be civilized, okay? And then, oh, hammer it! Oh, the car just spins. Wow, it has so much power. The power to weight ratio is probably really good. Oh, okay, more cars coming. I want to try this on some turns here. Okay, do, do crazy shit. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, this, okay, okay. <laughs> let's, let's not try to crash the car, shall we? All right, okay, you know, let's just switch on the ESC again. Yeah, okay. Marcus can be like, shit, what the heck did he do this with his car? Oh, the paint has been scratched away. Oh, okay, sorry for that. This is not the best place to test this car. Uh, it's too slippery, but still. Ooh, ooh. Okay, okay. 
<laughs> so, all right, okay. Uh, so, in a way, yes, it makes sense. It's um, it's a fun car to drive. Yeah. When I tested some of the other cars, they were not that fun to drive. Like the Leaf is kind of boring. Yeah. The i3 is actually also pretty fun, and it's very well drive, and it's also light and powerful. Um, but it's much more expensive than this car. So uh, the Fiat is more affordable if you want an EV and uh, uh, you don't want to go for the, like those like old generation EVs. This is a fairly new generation. Yeah, okay, well, this is, this is it. That's it. Uh, yeah, uh, ooh, oh, how is my daily charge? Ooh, 66, 66, wait, how much is it? 68%, okay. Uh, you know, I should try. To, I should try a place to charge it. <laughs> it's gonna take forever to charge it, but I have to test the range of this also. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let's try to locate one of the charging stations. We are now at Mullebil. Uh, it's a dealership, and here we have uh, one of the Fortnum's uh, far charging stations. And what we need is this thing here. Oh shit. The plug has been iced. I cannot open the plug. Shit, man. Man, this is like, this sucks. I mean, either you're iced by freaking fossils or you're iced by actual ice. Um, I cannot open the type 2. Okay, uh, that sucks um, big time. I mean, I could try to urinate on it, but... Um, the next person will have a bad experience with this thing, so uh, I could try to pour hot water here. Maybe that would work. Uh, or I can just try to rub it like this. Come on. You see, it actually gets wet when you rub it. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh it's get. I'm, I'm wet now. Okay, so you know, I, t I have to melt this with my body heat. Uh, then we can try to open it. Ah, uh, what the heck? I was gonna demonstrate something useful now. Now I had to bring it on. Okay, now, this, is, this sucks. I'm, I'm double iced now. So there's a freaking fossil here that blocks the charging station, but that is fine. I don't need this one. I cannot use this one. This is CCS. This is the good shit. But I have to use this thing. But I have almost de iced it now. Shit, I just have to try to pop it open. Oh shit, let's not try to ruin uh, Fortum's uh, equipment here, but uh, I've been rubbing it, melting away most... Oh yeah! Oh, <laughs> success! Okay, okay, let's plug it in. Oh, finally, I have plugged it in there. And then this one that looks like a gas tank is the charge port here. So for some reason it uses Type 1. <sighs> uh, and then what? I guess I have to show the RFID. Okay, let me see. Connection okay. Well, it detects that I have AC here. Okay, and then use the RFID. Checking. Yes! Well, I can start charging. Uh, oh, it's, it's charging! <laughs> yes. Um, now, the problem is that this is 22 kilowatt AC. So it's as you see here, it's 400 volt, 32 amp, but the charger cannot utilize 400 volt three phase. It can only charge at 230 volt, so it will use the 230 volt, 32 amp. So I get 7.4 kilowatt out of this, but I still pay for 22 kilowatt AC. So that's the problem that you pay. You still pay the price for semi-fast charging, but you are kind of slow charging. So let's check it out how it looks like in here. <laughs> okay. Well, that is very fancy. At least a good thing is that we uh, we can see the charging process in the car without plugging in. I mean, without you know, starting the car. Most other cars and most other EVs, you have to like uh, fire it up. Oh, I just noticed it has a CD player. <laughs> what the heck? What is this info button here? And there's a power button or something. Oh, it says Fiat. Ooh. Okay. Tuner FM. Wow. Uh, yeah, but um, what is gonna take one and a half hours? Oh, she! What, what am I supposed to do here? There's like nothing to do here. One and a half hours. Out. I have to mess around in this place. What is this place, by the way? What well, is a car dealership? 
Uh, I wonder if there's like a restaurant somewhere over there, but uh, what is the car? You know what? Maybe I can, maybe I can ask them if they can lend me uh, an eagle. What about this car? Yeah, this is a Tesla. <laughs> Uh, well, it has it has racing stripes on the hood. Yeah, this is like natural racing stripes in Norway. It gives you 20 more horsepower. Um, but anyway, so I'm stuck here for the next one and a half hours. I spend a little bit too much energy, and uh, again, you know, it doesn't support fast DC charging. So um, yeah, I might move to another location. I'll figure out something. Oh, look at this. This is original. Um, rims like aerodynamic rims it has this weird looking thing here you know they, they, they try to make it you know just like the aero wheels on, on the tesla or something you know um yeah and this is 500 yeah but uh what the heck what the heck am i supposed to do now in one and a half hours so i have some options i could drive to another location and charge there but it's also going to be more or less the same speed here um Oh, I can walk a little bit. If I think I will walk over there, there's like a restaurant or something. So I can grab some lunch while I'm waiting for this car to charge up. But I also want to keep the heater running, which is not... I guess it's not possible to do that unless you're inside the car. You can keep the, the key inside, but that is not not too safe for me because uh, I have to leave the car. So um, let's um, let's check out... Ooh, that's, oh, it has this... Uh, charging indicator here well that's uh, that's good like like leaf and uh, you know uh, ionic most other evs they also have that thing uh but you know that actually let me, let me check out something what happens if i fire it up now and spend some of that energy on heat yeah let's see what happens with the charging time now so i'm gonna plug it in now Ooh, you know what can i actually do this no the car is dead you need the key okay you need to to fire it up and now, oh, we have heater now. Seat belt unbuckle, yeah, that's fine. Okay, can I see some info? Seat will play. Uh, 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 that's just a trip meter thingy. Uh, okay, I, now I don't know. Okay, there, okay, okay. What, well, it, it still says one hour and 30 minutes. Hmm, okay. Well, that's good. 67 percent it's gonna take freaking forever hmm okay but uh you know what i think i have to wait i have to kind of like leave the car for a bit i cannot sit in here sit and wait here for one and a half hours you know what you know what? i have a plan i'm gonna go to the restroom and then i'm gonna go to the restaurant grab some food doesn't take too long maybe like half an hour i'm gonna come back here and then i'm gonna pass out for one hour <laughs> yeah perfect plan yes the car is charging over there so, um, we have to walk to, there's this, uh, vehicle, I think, over here, I've never been, there. I've never been, like, I never stopped here, that's what I'm trying to say, because the charging station over there only has CCS, and I cannot use CCS, I, I need Chalimo, uh, or Type 2, but Type 2 is too slow for me, uh, even 22 kilowatt or 16.5 kilowatt is too slow, and now I'm getting... 6.6 .6 or something <laughs> okay but what do we have here there's like a bus station here and then over there somewhere oh you know what we have quality hotel Ulov score and it says restaurant uh, so I think we're we're gonna find a restaurant somewhere over here but no I'm charging right now at AC and um, it cost me about one, 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 one nook per minute but uh, so a uh, rough calculation is, wow I mean quick math, is that one kilowatt hour costs about 10 nook which is um, one euro, more than one euro per kilowatt hour more than one dollar 120 or something per kilowatt hour it's freaking expensive yeah i mean it would be better of course if i use grand contact because grand contact you pay based on the power you pull but uh, with uh, fortum you pay a fixed rate based on how many minutes you're connected 
yeah so uh, uh, when you have this car this Fiat you probably don't want to charge like I do it's too expensive you want to just charge at home or charge at at other like public chargers but most of the public chargers you know they are only 16 amp so you get half the speed of what I'm getting right now yeah okay so let's see what is this we have reception here and I think they have a restaurant or something so this is gonna be a freaking expensive uh, charging break yeah so I found the restaurant here and this this is a quality hotel and they have uh, what well they have actually this is a cafe and they also they have some ref restaurant but uh, there's like a lunch buffet there uh, which is like 40 euros uh, but I went for this one instead which is just um, yeah it's a salmon salmon uh, sandwich and a coke and can you guess the price for this um, 15 euros yeah uh, the coke alone is like 60 euros so this is Norway <laughs> but I have nothing better to do so I have to kill some time yeah let's dig in oh well, that was good shit yeah salmon is uh, smoked salmon actually is the best shit but anyway I think I spent like one hour here or something but I have to get back to the car because I have to charge start uh, warming up the car because I want to do a range test now and see how far I can drive on a full charge now I'm not gonna drive it all the way to zero so I have to try to estimate and <laughs> drive it close to zero and I'm gonna deliver a car because if I run it almost down to zero then I have to wait four hours for it to charge up so um, yeah I think that would be the last thing I test with this uh, Fiat 500e before I return it all right here it is uh, according to the charge indicator ooh okay so we have five segments so it's at the last segment so that means I don't know 80% maybe did I lock the car? yes I lock the car okay there's no like you know black button to unlock it so I guess you have to do this booyah yeah now it's unlocked so oh, let me put, put the bag in there let's see ooh what the heck already? It's at, oh, you know what, it's at 98, 97% and of course the last few percent takes very long. Yeah, but you know we have to, we have to fire up the car because I want to start heating up the car so we get the most range out of it. So I have to, it's a little bit cumbersome because it's not, it's not um, uh, keyless. So I have to do this and then, yeah, let's fire, actually let's, Let's conserve the energy. Let's let's do uh, like an eco run here. I think there's no eco mode here. It's just park and drive, and that's it. Well, it's just eco here and the display, but I think that's just because we are not consuming anything, and then it applies power and then regen here. Yeah, so let's wait a little bit and then off we go. Uh, what the heck? Okay, um, you know what? We are back at 96% it was 97% uh, the only thing I did was increase the temperature a little bit and then increase the fan speed so um, it seems like the heater is sucking on more <laughs> energy than it can charge uh, okay let's lower this one and lower this one uh, so actually it could mean that as long as I'm just sitting here with the heater on then it might not be enough to um, to charge up the car uh, Okay, you know what, I, I think I have to just go soon and uh, try to extrapolate the result. Uh, okay, well, uh, it crawled up to 97%, but then when I, after unplugged, it went back to 96 So we're just gonna reset and uh, go for it. Alright, trip A. Ooh, reset. Ish, there, okay, let's roll. Oh yeah, I'm cruising now at 80 kilometers per hour which I consider being like an eco speed and uh, I have my heater on 19 degrees celsius fan speed is on 3 mute the radio and uh, the consumption is crawling well we have gained, we have done some uphill so um, consumption is getting close to 200 watt per kilometer now the, the battery here is 24 kilowatt hour so I don't know how much is available let's say 20 kilowatt hour so that means 
we should be able to do 100 kilometers. Hmm. We shall see. Uh, okay, this is pretty amazing. Um, first, I thought about going to uh, the airport, but we just passed the airport now, so uh, we have to drive all the way to Nepenes and turn back again. Yeah, and then we might run out towards the end, but uh, this is gonna be freaking awesome. It seems like we will be able to drive more than 100 kilometers in winter, minus 4 degrees Celsius outside. We are getting close to the exit now for um, Nebenes, and you know what? We will just keep going because <laughs> we still have 65%. We only consume 31%. So far, so we have to go further. We have to go to like Minnesun and then turn back. Wow, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, this is it, Minnesun. We're gonna turn around now and head back to the city. Uh, we have done 55 kilometers so far and consume. What is this? Ooh, 47%. Ooh, so we can make it. We can go more than 100 kilometers at least. So now it is minus 4 degrees Celsius outside and I'm still wearing my Stormbike jacket here. So uh, you can say that man's not hot, but man's not cold either. So after all, this is an eco run, right? We're trying to save energy, but still I don't sacrifice too much of the comfort. So I still have it nice and warm enough here. Yeah, uh, that's okay. We are getting close to Oslo now and uh, we have done 110 kilometers and we still have 17% left. So the, the gum tells me I can go 24 more kilometers, uh, which is uh, cutting it very close if I want to go back to uh, Marcus Beer. So you know what, I will top up on the way there. Yeah, I don't want to run it all the way to zero, but we, we can extrapolate the numbers and estimate how much range we can go. Uh, well, so far it's, it tells me about 135 kilometers, which is actually pretty good for winter. Yeah, for this car. <laughs> uh, okay, we are um, almost at the fort and fast charger now, but look here, we are 10%. And there's a big ass battery icon that just charge low. Yeah, don't scare me. Shit, I know I can make this. I mean, the car is not gonna stop with 10% left. So we only need to use maybe like one, two more percent, and then we get to the to the fast ish, -ish charger. Uh, so we can top up. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> charge low. We are in turtle mode. <laughs> and whoa, what is that? Okay, uh, yeah, let's stop here then. Whew, okay, so um, <laughs> that was kind of close, but well, we still had, you know, 9% left or something. Um, so we're charging now at um, Fortum, uh, well, th these are fast chargers. These guys, they can use DC, I can only use AC. <laughs> but um, let's see now, how does it look like? Oh. Okay, so, well it was 8% when I parked, so it's 9% now. I'm not gonna turn on the heater, I just wanna juice up fast. Um, actually, I wanna look at the stats, and in order to look at the stats, you have to to power it up. Let's do that, uh, maybe I can, well I know what I can do, I can switch off the heater, uh, here, like this, okay. Off with the heater, and then uh, uh, charge low. Well, okay, that's uh, more power. Okay, yeah, wow, yeah, 120 kilometers. That's about 80 miles, I think. Average energy, <laughs> 6.8 kilometers per kilowatt hours. So let's do some math here. Yeah, okay. So um, let's see. Um, uh, 6.8, so if you take 1,000 divided by, you see there, 6.8. Ooh, so that's about, yeah, about 150 watt hour per kilometer. And I draw 120 kilometers. Uh, so if you take this one times 120, uh, that is six, 17, hmm, okay. Well, actually it was, it was 121. Okay, let's do that, times 121. Okay, so I managed to pull out 
17,000 mm, and then I had nine and then okay I have to also consider that um, I started with 96 I ended with 8 so I spent 88% um, so if you divide by 88 times 100 yeah so this car has 20 kilowatt hours available at least when I drove um, so not too bad I would say yes you can uh, you can do about let's say 80 to 100 kilometers normal driving and then for eco run you can push it to like 120 100 maybe 130 kilometers if you drive even slower yeah so um, yeah I'm just gonna juice up a little bit <laughs> and then go back with the car so there you have it the Fiat 500e <laughs> but you know what um, if you have the money to buy one you should also consider uh, well we just we just happen to have the cars here I mean those cars are too expensive yeah the e-golf but you should also consider uh, a second-hand leaf or a Kia Soul because they support fast DC charging they have way more space uh, and also the leaf has app support but I guess if you want something different and you want a freaking tiny car for city driving then yeah go for it uh, personally I would prefer one of the other cars here but uh, again if, if you want something different then you should consider this one uh, just to show you how small it is to so see that's a Fiat and this one looks freaking humongous in comparison but it's just a tiny Golf <laughs> so uh, let me oh let me compare the Fiat here okay that's a Fiat all right with a leaf <laughs> leaf looks like a giant compared to the Fiat <laughs> all right but um, I think that's it that's the review of it so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, talk to you later